Hey there, today we're gonna talk about Fibonacci retracements. Uh, Fibonacci uh, relationship is a mathematical phenomenon um, designed by this uh, gentleman, Leonardo de Pisa in the 1600s, if I remember my, my financial history correctly. Uh, basically came up with the sequence of numbers where you add two numbers to get the third number. One plus one is two, one plus two is three, two and three are five, and it goes through this Fibonacci sequence where you keep adding them. As you go along the sequence, what you find is that every number gets closer and closer to 0.618 of the next number, and every number is also 1.618 times the previous number. So 61.8% or 0.618 is called the golden ratio, the golden point, the divine proportion, all these other, uh, all these other names for it. Now, how do we use it in terms of uh, technical analysis or chart analysis? We're looking at a chart here of Alphabet. What I'm basically doing is I'm taking a high from July of 2018, then I'm taking a low from the end of December of 2018. And I've said the highest point is in July, the lowest point is in December, and now I've sort of set this range from 0% all the way up to 100%. Now, the Fibonacci relationships are 0.618, retracing that way up to the 100% point, and it's also 38.2% or 0.382, and 61.8 and 38.2 equal 100%, so they're, they're complementary. So what happens is when you're looking at a chart, the 38.2% level and the 61.8% level, also the 50% level halfway through, um, often become significant support and resistance levels. And you use them along with traditional support and resistance levels you might be aware of. So looking at the specific example, as you come out of the December lows, you would first expect resistance based purely on the Fibonacci levels around 1100, which would be 38.2% of the way back up, retracing that uh, sell-off that we had July to December. And as you can see, we traded up to that level, we pulled back a little bit, so that's sort of expected. We would then expect resistance once we break through there at the 50% level, finally at the 61.8% level. Now, if you look at the chart of Al uh, Alphabet now, you'll see that it bounced off the 61.8% level, pulled back to the 50% level, and now has broken above it. So those levels, the 61.8 and 38.2% levels, oftentimes will give you sort of a line in the sand, uh, a level at which you might want to revisit a position, um, evaluate whether or not you want to continue to hold it, or at the very least expect a pullback or a sell-off or a rally around those key levels because they tend to be logical places where a market will tend to reverse. It's very easy to apply these on uh, stock charts. All you need to do is go down to the annotate button, and in the palette that pops up, you have a Fibonacci option that you can put on top of there. It's something that's very easy to apply to charts and get, just gives you a visual cue to identify some key support and resistance areas for charts that you're looking at.